Hey, what up artists and art fans? Thank you guys for tuning in to The Greatest Spot where we talk to all your favorite Instagram artists about the trade, the tools, and the tips. I'm your host, Zim Zimmer, and you guys are on episode number 79. Uh, today we got an awesome, awesome guest coming in today. Uh, you might have first heard him at uh, in the show uh, Live with Seven with the homie Seven is Life. So shout out, make sure you guys go check him out. So he was first on there. And a pretty awesome uh, artist. Uh, he's about to hit us up. Let us know a little bit about his origins, and uh, definitely gonna see what's up with this, with this awesome artist all the way from Massachusetts. We got Pug Stickers in the house today, so big thank you and a big shout out to Pug Stickers. If you guys haven't seen him, make sure you guys go back and check him out. Uh, also, make sure that you guys checking out uh, Chatting with Zim. I'm definitely on YouTube, so go like, subscribe. Uh, check out all the previous shows. I know that the last show with Timbo Sculpt is on there, so definitely go back, check it out, drop a you know, drop them likes, uh, and hit that little subscribe button. You know, it's gonna take you about five seconds. And uh, also, everything's on my link. Check out my bios, and the link there as well. Uh, big shout out to uh, Den Laughing as well, uh, Monsters Art Clan. And I can't forget about Respect the Artists. So all great, great uh, outlets for the art community. Go check them out. Like and uh, yeah, let's get the show on the road. Uh, let's get Puck Stickers in here, shall we? So Pug's awesome artist. Like I said, all the way from Massachusetts. Uh, I think I think all the way from Massachusetts. I know he's on that east side, so there we go. There he is. Hey, what's up? Man in the myth. What's popping, bro? Oh, the Patriots lost again today, so yeah. Oh <laughs> hey man. There you go. Listen, I'm about time. They uh a little too successful for my taste, to be honest with you. They got boring. I stopped watching. Oh man. That's... It's nice to be able to say that though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy for all you uh sports heads out there, you know. Uh, football and stuff. And I had a uh, I had one of my friends who was a big time Patriots fan, man. Bust his balls all the time. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Oh, I lose you. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but we, we got it. So uh, welcome, everybody, to the show. Uh, T-Tone the 30 is in the house. I saw Notorious Pez, Void0138, Ken Leo 27 uh, Scheme, and uh, Della Noose in the house. What up, everybody? Thank you guys for being the first there. And I'm just working out the lighting over here. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's actually getting very blurry on your side. Um, I mean, okay. You, I don't know if you have any other things open. That usually helps if you close them out. You know, you no, let, me move, let me move maybe uh, see if this helps. It might lose. It might. It seems like a like a reception issue. There we go. A little better. with that yeah a little better there for, there we go dig that all right cool so pugs man yeah first off man thanks again for uh wanting to hop in really quick yeah of course thanks for having me on yeah like i said if you guys haven't seen it we're in here with pug stickers there you go so uh, let us uh, let's con let's let's begin, bro. Let's uh, let's find out about them origins, man. What what led you to this uh, this art game, brother? Uh, yeah. So I'm late. I'm a late bloomer, right? Um, I didn't start off with drawing. I started off in photography. Oh, way okay. back. Nice. Yeah, before um, I'm gonna age myself here, but it was uh. A class I took was like mail order. You know, we didn't have even online classes at that point. So um, 
it was all film. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you had to be, you had to, um, you had to practice, but it cost a lot of money because you had to have film developed and all that. So it wasn't like today. You just go click, 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 a thousand, a thousand pictures, you know? So you kind of had to really focus on what you were doing. And, but I really liked the, uh, the style that I was, I was following a bunch of people and, and I liked like a minimalist, a minimalist style, but I'm going to jump forward and. I kind of got out of photography because I ended up with a lot of pictures, but I didn't do anything with them. Because, again, it wasn't like now with Instagram where you could put them up for people to see. It was kind of like you took them and either tried to sell them at a, at a craft fair or something or or they uh, you printed them up and you put them on your wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I kind of fell out of that for a while. And then I... Didn't do anything artistically for a long time, but a couple of years ago, I was uh, stumbling around on the internet, and I saw, I was actually looking at like an interior design website or something, and I saw somebody's picture on the, over their shoulder, and it was by Bob Will Rain out of Philadelphia, and I just fell in love with it. I was like, oh, that his style, his aesthetic, super simple. Um, the graphic, the colors, and I was like, "That's awesome!" So I started looking him up, and that guy that kind of introduced me to the to the street art scene. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I'm a I'm an average white guy from a little town with they didn't have a, a graffiti scene or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna be a pretender. So, um. But the internet opened me up, opened my eyes about that stuff, and I started seeing some incredible art out there. Um, you're not going to see me running down the street and and throwing something up on the wall. I probably fall down and hurt myself. But but uh, somehow on Instagram I found the sticker scene. Yeah. And I was looking through and saw um, Sive's YouTube channel, I think where people would send in packages of stickers and he'd fill up envelopes and send them back. And I was like, Oh, I want to, it was kind of a selfish act. I wanted to get some of those people's work. <laughs> there you go. That's all. That's all it is. Mark, yeah. So I saw some and I was like, well, I'm not as good as some of those guys. And I know I can draw better than some of the other guys. And, uh, but I, but I got to have something to give back. I can't just stop begging people to send me their stuff. Yeah. That's how it worked out. I started, um, practicing and trying to find a character to do and eventually I mean the pug was a no-brainer because you want to find something that you like that you're not going to get bored with you know um and I just I'm a pug lover it's kind of a cult they have but (laughs) (laughs) that's funny it's true though you you get you get people that like dogs you get people like cats and within that within those groups you get people that it's like if you talk to a pug person, they just like wink and nod at each other, like they know everyone else doesn't know what you're doing. <laughs> they don't get it. That's funny. If you go, if you go in that house, it's like wall to wall, everything's pugs. Holy you shit. know, pug mugs and pug pictures and pillows and tchotchkes and yeah. So yeah, man. So I mean, that explains it. That explains why the, the pug stickers. And yeah. for all you guys that don't know, you know, just a little fun fact. Before this, you uh, you were on the show with Seven, and that's when you uh, decided to change that name, right? Remember, it was Three Pugs Art? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. about it for a while, and uh, but I was afraid to do it because I, I thought I'd lose people. Because sometimes I, I know some of the accounts I follow, like, jump from name to name to name, and then they'll send me a message or something, and I'll be like, who, who is this? I don't know who this is. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, uh, I, I started as three pugs art because I thought my Instagram account would be, uh, a broader base, like just all kinds of art things. Cause I have so many interests. Mm-hmm. I thought I'd post all kinds of stuff up there, photography stuff and painting stuff and sticker stuff. And, um, but yeah, it just kind of narrowed down to stickers. Pug stickers. No, that that was dope. That's uh, I actually dug the name. I still dig it. It's it's awesome, and I think it was a great move, dude. You know what I mean? Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Thanks. 
So I, I know it's much more descriptive. Yeah, yeah, that too. And uh, you know, it's a uh, change is scary, uh, especially in the art in the, in the art world. You know what I mean? Yeah. For us artists, man, uh, get, getting out of our comfort zone, out of our element. It's it's a, it's a little crazy to do, but it's got to be done, man. And, uh, <laughs> yep. So sure. That's what, so that's what's up. As far as photography, man, have uh, have you gone back to it lately? Um, I mean, I not Is too it, much. No, does it interest you anymore? I think that I'm discouraged to do it because mm -hmm. uh, cell phones made it so ubiquitous and uh -huh. available. I mean, it's a good thing because now everyone can do it, and you're finding you know, a million people that are good at it that didn't have to put time into it that just are natural photographers. I mean, it's a thought process, a way of seeing, right? Yeah. Um, and there's just, it's, there's just so many people that do it and so many good photographers out there. That, yeah, um, but, but nobody, nobody does it like pug stickers though, bro. You know what I mean? Wow. And, and actually, actually uh, you know, just about uh, talking about that, you know, it's uh, if you love for photography and stickers and art, man, I, you know, maybe combine the two, bro. That'd be pretty yeah. cool to see, you know, pretty original stuff. So I That's dig that. That's a pretty man. good idea. Yeah, man. That's a good idea. You know, that that's a good way to get both of your loves out there. You know what I mean? All in one shimbag. So. Yeah, Definitely. I'm take, have to look into that. Yeah, get some of the, get some of that old photography out, man. Dig through that shit. See if you still got it, and and hit hit up a, a pugs on it, and I think that'll look pretty dope. Yeah. You know? See what I can do. Yeah, do one man. just for you. Oh damn! I'd be honored. <laughs> I I dig that. Hell yeah. Definitely. You should be getting something in the mail. It should have showed up yesterday, but you know the mail's been slow as shit. Oh word. Yeah, I think. Uh, did I send you something? I sent you something, no? Uh, you're always sending me something. I, I, I am, man. I, I'm lost, man. But it, it's cool. I know I sent some packages out this weekend. Uh, there was some that I was holding off for a while, but that's probably where my confusion lies. You know what I mean? It's all good. And, and big thanks to giving, you know, people the – since you went at the – on chatting with Zam, all the, the good stuff, all the uh, art. You're like, never more. Nevermore. <laughs> nope, it's all done. I'm taking them all now. There you go. Great to hear. <laughs> today's right. Yeah, today is uh, today's one. We'll definitely get that in there. I'll show that a little later. Absolutely. I'm gonna throw something in there too. So. Oh dang, that's what's up, man. So there you go, guys. Something to look forward to. Yep. Uh, besides here, man, on Instagram, can we find you anywhere else? Instagram is it. Instagram it is. Yep. I'm you do a little uh, uh -huh. social media shy. Okay. I don't I, trust them. Nah, dude. I mean, neither do I, man, but I got to do it for the business. <laughs> yep. You know what yep. I mean? So that's cool, man. Exclusive to Instagram. Nice and, nice and contained. I have trouble keeping up with Instagram with the, you know. Oh, man, I feel that. I'm obsessed with answering all the messages and checking all the feeds and, you know, yeah. eventually you're, eventually you're going to mute people and, or you're just going to, you got to, you got to live with not seeing something every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like the, uh, when I was in the, when I was in the groups before I wake up, wake up in the morning, be like 600 messages in the chat. Oh shit. As, and I'd be like, oh, I got to go back and read all those, like this OCD. And I don't have OCD, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Because yeah, I, I, the same way, man, I'm inside these chats. I open it up. I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? I got to find out what led to this. You know what I mean? So you got to <laughs> go back. And... Yep. Sometimes I wish I had, like, somebody to just read it off. That way I could do something oh. else while I'm doing it. There you go. You got to get rich. Right? Damn right. I got to get rich first. That's the plan here. And, uh, you know, just being in other crews and stuff, uh, are you in anything currently? 
I am not in anything currently. Um, I don't know. I was in the Odd Squad when it first first started, and we were talking. Uh, actually, Mal and Malice Misery and Seven were talking about it the other day. Yeah. How it uh, spontaneously spontaneously combusted. <laughs> Great words. It was something else, but yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't been in, into anything else since then. All right. How was your experience with the Odd Squad, man? Uh, good. It was, you know, awesome and terrible. Okay. So I, I heard they were killing it, you know, for a while. Yeah, it was interesting. It was an interesting, uh, interesting idea where they didn't turn anyone away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyone was, anyone was welcome. So I liked that about it. But then it just got so big, and uh, you know, some people's egos or whatever. Word. What are you gonna do? Yeah, man, that's a that, that's a conversation within itself, right there, man. Yeah, I'm not afraid to talk about it or anything. If anyone wants to talk about it or find out, yeah. like I'm not trying to keep secrets. If they want to know, I, I'm happy to to talk to them. But and we could talk about that. It'd take another two hours. I mean, you know, let's let's briefly touch on it, man. Just kind of skim the surface. I mean, uh, uh, that's one of my things that I hate about you know the art the artist culture or the community here or just anywhere in general. You know, it's anybody with a big ego. Um, I mean, I don't know if you feel the same, and uh, if not, if you have more to add, you know, something that you might hate from this artist community, man, feel free. Is there really, is there really any reason to have an ego? You know what I mean? Like, I follow guys that have three, four hundred thousand followers, and I put up something from the in this story, and then, and within seconds, I get a thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, yeah. And then you follow people that have a thousand followers and won't give you the time of day. I mean, what does that get you really? If it make you feel good. Okay. I, whatever. To each their own. They, they will get theirs so though. I'll tell you that much, man. You know? Yeah. I'm just not, out, I'm not out to hurt other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Word. Let people be them. Let people be themselves. Let them do their thing. Oh, definitely. And you know, from the time I've been following you, man, I mean, you, you've been, uh, uh, great uh you've been great uh you know kind of there and giving back to community sharing as well you know what i mean so Try that, yeah man i mean that's all we could do yeah well yeah. i mean if you want to get following and it's and it's not all about likes and followers but it, it doesn't hurt right feels good yeah it feels and you want to and you want to get you want to get past your 100 200 300 followers you gotta you gotta put yourself out there and you gotta bring other people up with you Yep, damn right, and yeah. I, and I agree one hundred percent. You know, I I was yep. there, on, I was there on the same boat. You know, I didn't know where to start when I first came here on Instagram. Uh, I I was you know the new kid in, in school of three thousand, and you know nobody there to help me, and so you never know, man. That was one thing that the crew that odd was good for. Um... Spreading that, spreading your uh, following and and supporting other people. I mean, because you get some groups like you know four or five members or whatever, but you get a group with fifty members, and the only rule was, uh, I mean, there was rules like no no bigotry and you know no you know no racial nothing, no hate speech. If you yeah. want um, that was a rule and. And the other rule was if you're going to be in here, you have to follow the other followers. And so okay. you can get your followers go up uh, pretty quickly like that. But, okay. You know what I'm saying. Any, uh, being here on the, on the gram, man, is there any, any lessons that you learned? Anything that you could take away that you might be able to share for somebody first hopping in? I think they should just... I think they shouldn't be afraid to, afraid to put this stuff out. I mean, there's there's going to be. I'm not on Facebook, but my wife is, and I think mm. that Facebook seems to have more trolls in it than Instagram. I think this, at least this community <laughs> yeah. that we're in, has a lot more supporters than haters than in it. Um. So yeah, put your stuff up. I post stuff. I I I draw stuff. And I'm like, ugh, this is okay, and I post it up and. Um, I post it up with my good stuff, whatever. Um, and if you're just starting out, post up your stuff. I mean, 
the people that I've met within this group on a, you know, aren't so big headed that they won't talk to somebody new. Mm. I mean, so we, what's the worst that can happen? You reach out to someone, they tell you to take a, you know, go fuck yourself. Like, okay. Well, <laughs> am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. They can't hurt you. You know who you are. The beauty of the internet. <laughs> go fuck yourself. That, that belongs on the shirt, man. Like <laughs> I'm going to have, my, my plan is to have a, um, an internet radio show called Go Fuck Yourself. And, <laughs> and uh, people will call in with their problems and I'll just be like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I like that. I would listen to that shit all day, man. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, no, you're, good. you're good. You're good. We, we still hear you, man. That That's what matters. The uh, And then my wife says I can have people call in so I can tell the, the people that they're having trouble with to go fuck themselves instead. Oh, like, I oh, like your, boss giving, your boss is giving you shit? Call oh. me up, and I'll call him up, and I'll be like, hey, go. <laughs> I like that, dude. I think, I think that shit sounds, uh, sounds like a hit. You know? I think I have a lot of followers. I think so, too, bro. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. People, people are seeing it like that right there. There you go. Kenny and Josh for kick. Shout out. <laughs> yep. So, uh, man, let, let's get a little bit more into your art, dude, and uh, let's Definitely. see what that's all about, man. Uh, here are a couple of my favorite pieces. Uh, here we go. Yep, that's a new one. Let me see if I could change that up here and put that. How do we do this here? There we go. There it is. So a lot of that, a lot of that's influenced by you and... Um... Who are you talking to? Uh, Sheldon Art, I think, was talking, and Thalo Halo also said the same thing. Like, they when they're drawing, they they look at something and go, "What else can I put? What else can I put?" Because mm-hmm. um, I always look at other people's art and say, "Well, that looks better than mine, but why?" Um, and so that's why I started doing. Like when I'm when I would normally stop drawing, I go, "All right, what else?" What else is missing? What else do I need? And that's when I started putting, you know, little, the little lines and whatnot, the details. So I still haven't got. I'm, I'll probably never think I got there, but no, I I I like it, dude. I I I love the. Uh, I know it's a little hard to see, but on my screen it looks like there's a little bit of a fade in the background coming from the bottom, and it's just getting lighter as you go up towards his ears, you know. So yep, I, di- yep. I dig the colors. The colors are like, you know, they, they contrast well with the pug itself. And then the gray just kind of throws everything off and it balances, you know. But I, mm. I, love, the, I love the design, dude. So great shit, dude. Definitely one of my favorites. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man. So another one for you guys. Badass. I love that shit. <laughs> I That's another example of... It's not all drawing, right? Like I'm all over the place. Yeah, I, I, everything I see, I want to try it out. So that's just uh, Seven sent me a comic book at some point, and I tore it up and I glued the glued the pieces onto uh, onto a 228 and cut it into a pug shape. You yeah. Know? No, I definitely dig it. I'm a lover of comics, and that shit is dope, dude. You know, that shit came out Let- hard. Let's be clear. None of this is original. My eye. I'm not claiming to be the first person to put comic book stuff in. You know what I'm saying? No, no. I'm but I mean, put it I mean, to mine. I mean, I I, I kind of do the same thing, and I took my idea from. I got inspired by uh, the talented Mr. D. Uh, he gave me a badass yep. piece with Captain America and some comic book stuff in the background. I'm like, man, I gotta do something like this, you know. Can't do the yep. same thing he's doing, but let me let me do my own little spin. And I uh, love your little spin. I know you got a, I think, what was it, a blue top label that you had that you also did some comic book work on? Yeah, it's in the other room. I was going to pull it out, but I left it there when I came in for the better the better Wi-Fi. Okay. I'll go no. grab it after. No, I, no, you don't You don't even have to, man. I got it right here, dude. That's the, that's the beauty of this <laughs> stuff here. So here, let me go check it out. Unfortunately, I couldn't save it. Uh, the pictures that you're seeing me post here on Instagram right up front, you know, the little pugs, 
Uh, people, for yep. all you guys that know, anybody could do this stuff. You just got to save the image, make sure it's in your camera roll. And you got to, when you're on the live, it's going to be the option at the bottom right hand side. And you'll be able to pull up any image in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, not, not a big secret, cool. but here you go. That's the, the blue top there. So, yeah, you know, that one came from, uh, I had a blue top and I, I hated what I did to it. So I was like, well, now what do I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to throw it away. And I had just done the pug comic book one and I was like, well, I'll just put comic book pieces on it. And I stopped there. I was going to draw a pug on top of that, but then I, I just liked the way it came out. So word. And then this as well, you know, rocking them dragons, dig the piece as well, bro. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Super. So for me, I love seeing, you know, I love seeing when artists actually do step out of their element a little bit, you know, and try new things. Not one, it's, you never know what you're going to find, you know, that you have another passion or love for. And, yep. it, you know, you might do it better than what you're already doing. Who knows? That's what, that's the beauty of trying new shit out, you know? And, yeah, you know, uh -huh. go ahead. No, up to you, man. <sighs> I talk over people all the time. Sorry. I was going to say, what do you have to lose? Yeah. Put you, someone, someone else stops following you because they, you know, I think uh, Thalo talked about this too. He, people wanted this style and he switched styles for a while and people stopped following him. Okay. Do what you want to do. Yeah. Not what other people might do. Unless your objective is to be an Instagram influencer or something and you think you're going to get there, then do what the people want. But, No, I, I get it. And just to, you know, just to add to that a little bit as well, it's it's something that, you know, my uh, I get inspired by my youngest brother, uh, uh, Della Noose. And, uh, you know, he told me, you know, he's like, hey, if there's secrets to getting uh, depending on what you want. You know, there's uh, if you want followers, you got to do this and that, you know, if you want, you know, he broke it down pretty good. You know what okay. I mean? So it kind of depends on what you want or what, what you guys are seeing as artists. What you What is your vision for your page? Are you guys uh, here to make money? Are you guys here to just grow followers? Are you here to just um, have an outlet for yourself? You know what I mean? Right. Yep. So, for example, he's like, if you want followers, you know, hit up anime. That's, that's really popular with kids and, you know, everyone's into there. Mm -hmm. But can you do anime for the rest of your art career? Will you do it? You know. Well, I, I, I love. It. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I like anime just as much as the next guy. I'm not a big, big fan, but I love it. You know, I just can't right. do anime all day, every day. It's not me. Yeah, I I miss the. We I was talking to uh, Mal Mal the other day too about um, the Power Rangers. Ah, and I was like, so many people in this circle love the power rangers yep you included which is hey to each his own but i was like i missed it i don't i don't get it because i think i was too old for it and she said oh when it she said yeah if you were over you know 10 or 12 or whatever it was when they came out you probably don't get power rangers so i looked up what year they came out right oh sir. It, <laughs> the, the the tv show came out in 93 and I was like, uh, I was 22. Is that old enough to not get it? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's it's crazy, man. Power Rangers, actually, fun fact, they, they've been around way before that. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they started somewhere, I think, in the 70s, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. So. I wouldn't be surprised. The only Power Rangers, I mean, the only the only – experience i have with them is from that tv show it was oh, all okay. like they always had a mask they always had the helmets on so it was almost like you don't know if the person acting were talking at all it was almost voiceover right in the really dramatic kung fu scenes not word and i know there's other power rangers out there I mean, there's comic books and movies and but anyway yeah yeah anime is the same way like it's great I don't have time to sit and watch it. There's just so much of it at this point. But, BK Yellow in the house. Welcome. 
Uh, you know, just talking about uh, you know, just all that old stuff and and art itself. Really, I mean, is there any any type of art that that you consider your favorite? You know, is there anything that you love on a personal note? You know. Interestingly, yes, I love um, the artists that I follow that I that I love are the ones that are the complete opposite of my aesthetic. Mm. Like they're really busy, almost um, like Basquiat style. Okay. Runs in layers and layers and layers of stuff. Um, could give you can I give you an example, but. Yeah, I like that. I like bright colors. I like uh, abstract stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And the reason I ask is because of this image here. Uh -huh. nope. Awesome, dude. Love that shit. Thanks. That is the that's, nice. that's dope. Again, full disclosure, that's just me printing out Starry Nights and drawing on top of it. But, S as simple as that, man. Yep. Simple yet effective. Yeah, I think a lot of people like that. I like that one too, to be honest with you. And I got a chance to see that in uh, the Museum of Fi the Museum of Modern Arts in New York. Oh shit! Dope. Yeah. Dope, dope. That's a funny story too, because we went. My wife and I went to New York for a week, and the only thing I wanted to see was the uh, the Museum of Modern Arts. I wanted to see, you know, Warhol and Basquiat and. and Lichtenstein and that floor was closed. Oh, I went up. I paid like fifty bucks to get in there. I went up and down the building, up and down the building. Finally, I found someone that worked there. I said, "Where's all the '60s pop art?" They're like, "Oh, that floor is closed." Fuck, <laughs> dude, that sucks. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, man. It's like I, I want a refund. I almost asked for one. Yeah, it's I not what they need to ask for a refund right then and there. But I like that. What stuff. about uh Yeah, yeah, cool, man. I, 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 and I like it too, man. I definitely, I definitely dig it. Uh, definitely dig all the, like the old Renaissance art. You know, some of my favorite work. Um, I feel hella fucking intimidated when I even try. I'm like, man, that's it's not for me. You know what I mean? I look uh, at some I, of those things, and I, it's just amazing. I mean, and some of them are huge. You know, you go to the art museum and see. Uh, 12 foot by 8 foot painting and you could just stare at it and, and, and wonder how long it took a guy to paint that. Or yeah. you look at uh, I think Rembrandt's a good example of realism that just the wrinkles in people's faces and, and the detail he gets it. It might as well be a photograph. It's yeah. I don't know how that I don't know how the person's mind even works to get you there. Yeah, definitely definitely the old the old masters there, man. You know, the artist masters. So, yeah. Yeah. In order to know where we're going, we need to know where we came from. Huh. That's what they say, right? But also, they didn't, they didn't have the distractions we have either, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, um, they didn't have the internet and TV. Naked women and walking and... around and <laughs> they didn't have all that shit, you know? Yep. Distractions, distractions. It's actually a, a perfect segue, man. How do you how do you overcome all these distractions and procrastinations and and everything else involved with artists? You know. Um, I mean, it it comes and it goes. I mostly do art over the weekend. Okay. It seems like I spend all day working, thinking about how I'm going to get out of work and do do uh, some drawings or something, and then I get out of work and whatever I was thinking about goes right out of my right out of my head. So I pretty much save it up for Saturday and Sunday or whatever, Friday night. Um, but I just have, and I, I tend to write things down. Like when I get ideas, a starry night idea or something along those lines, I'll write it down so that when I go to sit, sit at the desk, I remember what I was hoping to get done. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So uh, when you're not drawing on the weekdays, I mean, well, well, what other, what can we find you doing, man? I mean, I know you you're watching the game, so you're a big sports fan. Yeah, football. I like 
Um, I'm a big reader. Okay. You know, um, you caught me off guard on that one. Mostly when I get out, I do IT, so I'm on the computer all day, and then when I get off, I'm just like, okay, TV goes on, I just take it all, take everything out of your head and relax your mind a little bit. Yeah. Mindless shit. Yep. Exactly. And of course, I got the fam and the dog, so spend time with them. No, I feel that, man. Uh, definitely work in IT as well. And uh, yeah, man, I, I know it's, it's all day just looking into that screen sometimes. I try to take at least half hour after I'm done, just to relax, you know, mm -hmm. maybe uh, I don't really go to sleep, but just get my eye off any screen that involves cell phones and everything like that. I, uh, I end up on, that's what I end up on. I end up on doing all my Instagram stuff and, um, you know, doing, finishing up the chats and the posts and next thing you know, it's time to go to bed. It's yeah. a time suck, really. Yeah, no, I, I hear that. Uh, as far as uh, back with your art, man, is there any any uh, long term or short term goals? Uh, I still have things I want to try. I still, I I haven't done watercolors yet. I'm going to try that. Nice. Um, I was thinking the other day. I actually bought a set yet, but I'm I don't even know where to begin with them. So I got to just bite the bullet and try it you know With the watercolors yeah all right man if you if you need any help man definitely uh feel free to hit me up and uh if you want later tonight sometime you know after oh, yeah. Uh, yeah i i'll probably be there i got something going on at like uh 10 11 my time but i'll be free in between that time i guess uh, it doesn't have to be today. It could be any time during the week. If you have time, we'll schedule something. I'll help you out, man. I'll guide you through some yeah, of the basics. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, man. Very cool. Um, and yeah, this isn't. I don't. I don't. I don't sell any of my stuff. I don't think I'll do this professionally or anything. Um, it's just a hobby. I still like. Like I. I still like collecting other people's work. So. Awesome. I just keep going along with that. Um. I was thinking about it today or yesterday. I'd like to do. I'd like to make a magazine. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, you know, have people send in one of their pieces and get them all and nice. See how much that costs. You know, that, that'll get... uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that'll be awesome. That'll be definitely. That'll be really dope, man. That'd be cool. Just to gonna see. see if we can put that together. Uh, what about uh, just life in this uh, COVID 2020, man? How has it treated you? Thank God for art, right? I think the other day you were saying this too. Is it? Uh, some people love it and some people hate it. And I'm one of those that just, it's. Quarantining was made for me, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I told my girl yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, not so much, but uh, I can. Shut that door and not leave the house for a week. I wouldn't even notice. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, I mean, look at me in the Irish skin. The sun's my enemy, basically. No. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, best piece you you have done to this date, man. Favorite piece of yours? Uh, I think the one you showed. I think that that uh, Tuscan Raider is probably the best one I've done. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Well, that one. You know what else I like? The um, I did a lab with Chestnut NBM. Um, I'm really proud of that one, but it's really his. He sent me his first. And guys, we are uh, on live with Puck Stickers. Make sure you guys gave him a follow. Make sure you guys check him out. Yes, hell yeah. So, yeah, I just tried to.
do my character and and copy his. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of that one. I think it came out good. Heck yeah, definitely, definitely match the style on that one. I uh, that's pretty cool. And unfortunately, yeah. I don't have the one we did though, so I can't really show that. Man, I wish I had a picture of it. Um, but I definitely we did do a piece together. I know the the brother seven threw in a piece in there. Uh, yep. High ranking cult member threw in the first one. I'm going yep. through all. I'm going through all the messages here, man. I'm trying to find it that way I can share it with the people. And uh, that that was very dope, though, man. Had a fun time doing it. Definitely do it again. Uh, I know there was one with uh, you and Mal. The one with me and Mal. Uh, I like that one too. That one's actually in the envelope I sent you. Okay, that I said cool. you should be getting any day. Sweet, yeah. sweet, perfect. That's the one with the like. She did a, a mountain scene. I did the desert scene. Word, and uh, and yeah, man. I like so, the land. Cool. And here I found it. I found it. So here's the uh, the piece we did. Oh yeah, the orange. Yep, that one's good too. And it's different. Uh, different to give them an expression because usually I do the same, the same look. So that's pretty cool. I try to give him a little badass look over here, you know. The, mm -hmm. There you go, just to match you guys. The backwards cap. Sky, it's, that's how you know it's me, man. And, and the um, the gold one. That listen, I thought that gold foil shit was the greatest thing since sliced bread until I started drawing <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped doing. It. I have a pile of it, like I'm not a pile, but I got a few that I was gonna do in in the same thing and send out. And I'm like, nope. I I just keep pushing them off because, you know. Man, like I said, dude, if you ever need, uh, if you ever need ideas, dude, run it by me. Tell me what you got, dude. I'm full of ideas. I just don't have time to do shit. If you got some of that old stuff, I, I got some ideas. You might be able to do something right. with you know. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Definitely. You know? And I and I I open that up to anybody. You know what I mean? If you guys have something you guys want to run by, you guys need uh, uh, another eye, another perspective. Yo, know, feel free to DM me. You know what I mean? Somebody recently put up. I wish I I was gonna look it up before this chat so I could mention it, and I can't. I didn't get to it. But someone put up sixty artists um, to do a mashup with your character and their character. Oh shit! Yeah. And I haven't started it, but I'm all over it because that gets those creative juices flowing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You would ask me about how to stay uh, motivated and whatnot. And if you get, if you just get bogged down with the same thing over and over again. That's why I like labs so much is because I like to try to follow or add on to something somebody else did. Mm. It's kind of gives you a focus. If you will. Uh, yeah, I feel that. Hell yeah, man. Where, where's that? Just where's like the, the, um, you know, some people like canvas, some people like these. I like these because I get, if I, if I have that big piece, I don't know where to start. And this is kind of like, all right, I only have to fill six inches. I hear that. What about um, what about some of your tools, man? Let's get into that. Let's get into Josh's tools, man. If you have any anything, what what do you like working with, bro? What do you recommend? What do you don't recommend? I have cheap plastic mechanical pencils. But only the point seven leads. I don't like the point five leads. I don't like the thicker lines. I like the really thin lines. All right. I have the microns, fine liners. Um, usually I use a 08. You can tell it. I don't even want to show you because it's just all worn off. So, but interestingly, I don't know if you follow or you've seen uh, that Stunzo. He has a dinosaur character. He's one of the he's one of the first people I started following, but he's also um, 
one time on his live feed, he said, I don't fuck with those. I only use Poscas. And he uses a Posca 1M, one, one, uh, something like that. Mm-hmm. Let me see. So that's a PC3M. PC, PC1M Poscas. And this super, super... Um, oh, okay, the fine tip. Yeah. Fine, super fine tip on the end. And that's what he does all his lines with. And if if anyone wants to see line work, go look at that's Dunzo because that guy's incredible with the lines. That's Dunzo. I oh, got it, man. Yeah. And then, you know what I got? You know what I use and recommend? Because I know you use them and recommend them too. Yes. There you go. Today's show is sponsored by Ahuhu. That's right. If you don't use those, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Either you're crazy um, or you got lots of money. One or the other. Right. I have a Copix. I have uh, just the one set, like the six pack that I got like 60% off somewhere. I was like, oh, I got to try those. And yeah, the ink is really, really nice. But it's one of those examples of um, the instrument don't make you an artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the ink can be as nice as as you want, but you just spent a lot of money on it if you can't use it right. Well, who is the best? Oh, yeah, dude. I, I think so. I second that. Um, just as results, just as great as Copics. Um maybe a quarter, a fraction of the price. So you can't go wrong with that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And the only difference, the only thing we'll argue about you and I is I don't like the brush tips. I like the bullet nibs. I'm the only one on the planet that likes the bullet nib. So. <laughs> no, no. And, and you know, it, um, for me, it, I think it boils down to just a personal preference at the end of the day, man. Uh, for me, yep. uh, I know people that love bullet nibs, and my brother being one of them, you being another. Uh, I dig them too, but I, on my personal self, I feel that I could do the same, if not control the lines better with a brush. And that's just because I'm I'm a brush artist, you know. I dealt with watercolors, acrylics, so I got more more practice. I think that is. I think. I think I think that is why, um, because I draw heavy-handed, mm-hmm. so I I think I pushed hard too hard for the brushes, and I don't draw with a brush normally. So if I went, I think if you went from a painting to markers, the brush makes total sense to you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I have trouble. I I push down. I I'm heavy-handed if you look at these like uh 005 yeah micron um i always end up pushing i can't use them i end up pushing a tip into the pen oh shit yeah 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 so that gives an example of why i probably like <laughs> the <nib. laughs> I'm, I'm guilty of doing that as well man i totally fucking blew the shot on mine uh, the ones i have the the 005s gone Still ink in there. I know it is, but yep. uh, yeah, man. I I don't know what to do or how to fix that, man. Well, yeah. I I also draw um, rest of my arm on the table. You know, I right. keep it really like that. So, I mean, people that draw with their shoulder or their oh, you know, probably don't have that problem that you and I have. They're probably not pushing down, bearing down on the end of the pen. Oh, that's funny. Um, that's it. I mean, oh, I got that. Um, have you seen the ones I have with the airbrush backgrounds? I've, the steels. I've probably seen them. I just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those, yeah. those are like a Crayola marker airbrush. I showed that in somebody. I think I showed that in one of Seven's vids. Yeah. Something like that. Yep, exactly. All right. And it's just a little pump, a little electric pump, like almost like a fish tank pump. And it has a uh, spray gun that you put a Crayola marker in, like this. The regular cheap broad tip. Word. Crayola marker goes in the end of that. And uh, you can do airbrush effects like that. I'm all over that, too. All right, guys. Uh, well, there it is. That that's the that's the tool bag. Puck stickers tool bag, man. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little giveaway, shall we? Yeah, definitely. This guy is for you guys that don't know. This is an anime on Netflix called Scissor Seven. Uh this is actually uh, King Pheasant. If you guys don't know who it is, definitely go check out Scissor 7 on Netflix. If you guys are into anime, pretty cool character. There it yeah, is. it's very cool. Uh, it doesn't look like it has your usual outline, though. Don't you? It doesn't look like it has your little orange outline. You know what? That is correct. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now, shall we? I usually do a nice little bright, uh, bright outline of just any yep. color, man. I usually try to match it. But orange it is since Pug's called, called it. Orange or green or yellow. And how should how should he, how should the winner win it tonight? Let them know, Pugs. Uh oh, I don't know. Do you not like the questions that uh, the questions I I don't know how fair the questions are because people seem to have trouble answering them. I, I I know, man. I I kind of, you know, big turn off. I like people. <laughs> I like them because I win all the time. Let, let's simplify it for the people. Uh, you want to get in on this, or you just want to let the people win here? No, let the people win. I'll, and I said I'll throw something. I got a um, I got like a canvas board, um. There you go. That's yeah. dope. That's all I did. I'll throw that in too. Cool. Let's see. There's a, there's a few people in here. Um, let's do the number game. Yep. Let's do I, it. I like the number game. Uh, pick a number between uh, one and uh, I say one and ten pugs, and hold on to that number. And yep. there you go, guys. First guy who guesses what number he's thinking of in his head gets this cool king pheasant. Sketch mm -hmm. and also a, a yeah, and also a uh pug stickers original. So there you go. Benson Ink says, says eight. Nope. And while we wait for the awesome people to go ahead and send in their their guesses, let's continue on it. And if you guys also have any questions, make sure you guys Write it down. Use a little question mark uh, box or bubble below. Get your question, and we could share, man. Uh, yeah. While we wait, man, uh, if you had a superpower, Pugs, what would it be, brother? Um, control the weather, probably. Holy like shit, storm. that's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Especially lately. Have you seen what the weather will do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have, man. Weather control, yeah, I, I love that, that shit. And it's a good power. And the healing, the healing power is pretty good too, because you don't get sick or whatever. But, um, yeah. As far as uh, oh, Vinny there the it is. Vinny the young wolf came in. Yep. Congrats. Let's write that down, Vinny. Hey Vinny, just send us DM us your uh, your info, and we'll send that out to you, brother. Mhm. Mm Vinny D, and uh, you guys make sure you guys are following Vinny D, the Young Wolf, uh, Vinny D Illustrations for his art page. Pretty awesome artist. 
you know, definitely leveled up uh, a lot awesome. during this year. So, hell yeah, proud of them. Proud of my boy. Go check that out. For sure, definitely, definitely check it out. Great, uh, great to see his journey. You know what I mean? And uh, amazing, amazing. He's definitely doing a lot of progress. So, can't say any more than that. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, that's it. Just the grind, man. The grind is real. Uh, you know, we're getting close to to the end here, Pugs. Uh, favorite song or music? Um, Respect Walk by uh, Pantera. Respect Walk by Pantera. There you go. Or a new level, new level of confidence by Pantera. That's it. Yeah, that's my favorite one. That's better. All right. Pantera, man. Hell yeah, dude. I remember those days. Yeah. It's my dark days, I call them. Um, <laughs> Long and, story. And both, both those brothers died, man. It's pretty upsetting. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll be going next, man. You know? We'll... Oh, for sure. So we're all there. That's, that's everyone's fate there, regardless. No matter rich, poor, whatever fucking race you are, we're all going to fucking die. Oh, you know what? Speaking of, I got my, you know, Boars? Yeah. Shout out to Brother Boars. Look at that. Nice. That's from that, the original one. That swag, that drip right there. Um, You yeah. believe in the paranormal? Uh, interestingly, I yeah, I do. And what's odd is I don't believe in an afterlife, but I believe in ghosts. So that, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about UFOs, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking really? hilarious. Yeah, I believe in UFOs, sure. Cool, cool. Ever see any or one or the other? I have not. I have family members that have claimed to see both. Holy shit. Um, different family members and one of one and one of the other, but I mean, hey, yeah. So we're not. And and pugs, man. We're, we're, it looks like we're down to the last couple minutes, man. Any any last parting words? Any last thing you wanna let the people know, man? Yep. Uh, yeah, being an organ donor. There you go. Organ donor save lives. And that's there you go. Be an organ be an organ donor, everybody. You know? Even when we pass, you know, we, we might still be able to go ahead and help somebody else, man. You know what I mean? Help somebody else. That's it. Yeah. You know, we our life might have uh ended, but you know, uh with that comes a blessing and it's able to extend somebody else's so great cause. Definitely. Listen, congrats on uh, you're going to have 80 shows next week, right? Yeah, uh, 80 shows. I'll definitely talk about a little bit about it in the outro, but uh, uh, stay tuned for that, guys. I guess let's go ahead and add it now. You know? uh, next week, we have uh, episode number 80, which is uh, pretty fun. It's going to be flipping the tables, and we're going to be interviewing me. So nice. I think we're going to have Thalo back on. Thalo Halo, shout out. So make sure to watch the first one, which is episode 40 on China with Zim on, on YouTube. And then right after that, we got RC underscore Art 2 uh, just to finish out the lineup for November. And then we get into the December stuff and uh, a bunch of new shit coming out, too. So that's pretty dope. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And uh, once again, a Pugs man. Thanks again, brother. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you are freaking welcome anytime you want man just say the word and uh, appreciate it make sure you get that time everybody we've been on with puck stickers that's spelled s-t-i-k-a-h-s for you guys that are hearing this so puck stickers one word yeah make sure you guys uh check them out follow them uh hit up his thing over flood them with the love of likes and uh definitely let's continue this game Pugs, thank my you. man. thank you very much man for, for hopping right. in Good night. Ladies, brother. And once again, that was Pug Stickers, guys. Uh, episode number 79 in the bag. That's how we do it. Make sure you guys go like, subscribe, YouTube here. Uh, check us out.